What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I wanted to recreate uh, this image that I've seen online. Uh, now this is something that pops up quite a bit so if you're ever googling pretty much anything when it comes to architecture you're probably going to see an image that looks like this. Uh, now I always thought it looked really cool, it's like a physical model uh, on top of some uh, drawings of the same model and uh, or sheets uh, and it, it looks cool. Usually it's not an actual physical model, it's just a kind of a rendering, uh, but nevertheless it looks cool and I always wanted to create something like that. So I thought why not try to recreate something like that in Revit. It's not really a terribly informative uh, view, uh, but it does look cool. So if you want to create it, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. Uh, now before I get started with that, I would just like to ask you to like this video. It helps me out a lot and it helps promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Also make sure to subscribe, I make useful Revit tutorials each week. Uh, and then finally uh, make sure to check out my website balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below the video. Uh, there I have all of my Revit courses. I have uh, courses ranging from beginner topics all the way up to advanced topics. Uh, so there is something uh, there for everybody. I put a lot of time into this, these courses. I take the extra time to go step by step slowly explaining all of the complex uh, features, functions and tools uh, as well as workflow in Revit. So check it out if you're interested. Uh, and also if you want to get this file uh, that we're going to be creating, you can get that on my Patreon page which is the second link in the description just below the video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Rabbit. And here we are in Revit. Uh, so this is the model that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is the uh, simple single family home uh, and I have an entire course. Uh, it's a five hour course where I show you step by step the, my approach to building a simple uh, single family home. And obviously I show you how to produce all of the technical plans, uh, which you can see here. Uh, as well as kind of a little presentation view. Uh, so if you're interested, you can find that on my website, balkanarctic.com. That's the first link in the description. Uh, anyways, uh, let's now get started and I'm going to show you how to apply uh, or how to kind of create this 3D uh, view where you show kind of your house sort of as a physical model on, uh, on top of some uh, plans. So we do have a couple of plans we do have a 3D view and this is all that we need. Uh, so the first step is going to be to export these two views. Uh, now one thing that I do suggest is that you kind of save the original file, copy that and then use kind of the copied one uh, for this uh, kind of exercise because you are going to be kind of messing up the file a little bit. So anyways, uh, let's first export this and I'm going to be exporting this as images. Now that's really important to keep that in mind. So export as images. Uh, you simply go here to the file menu, uh, you go to the export uh, functions and then you go down by just hovering over this little arrow and then you go to images and animation. So we just export that as an image. I'm just going to click here. Uh, for the settings, for the image size, you want to go to zoom to and then I set that to 100. And then for the format, I like to go with the 300 uh, DPI uh, for raster image quality. Okay, uh, so with that set, we also have to specify which uh, just uh, what's going to be exported. I know currently it says current window. I don't want that. I want selected views and sheets because it's going to allow me to select both sheets at once and just export them at once. Uh, then you go to select here, you scroll down, you select both sheets. There we go. Click OK. I don't want to save that and then I'm just going to, yeah, let's just export that. It's going to, can I just export it quickly? Let's see. This is taking a little bit longer and there we go. It's done. It did take a little longer, but finally it's done. Uh, okay, the next step uh, is going to be to go to the 3D view and then here you just want to get rid of all of the topography. So I'm just going to delete this, this, this here, this, all of these. There we go. Uh, next I'm going to select the uh, floor here just like that. Go into edit boundary uh, and then I'm going to go, just go here to the project browser, scroll down, scroll up 
uh, find the floor plans and then go to the site plan. Open up the site plan and then here, if I just switch this to uh, wireframe, now I can see the walls below. So what I want to do is just switch this around. So I just wanted to go all the way around the house. I, I want this boundary to go all the way around the house. So you can do that like this. Oops, up to there. And then we can just use this one and go up to here. Perfect. And then you can use trim and extend to corner just to trim it like that. Like this. And that seems to be it. Okay, now this isn't done. Uh, you have to go here to the rectangle tool and then just make one big rectangle like so. And then hit finish. Uh, don't attach. Uh, now, finally, if I go, just go here to the 3D view, you're going to see that it's large, but it does have some sort of a texture, I think, if I zoom in. Yeah, I don't want that texture. So I'm just going to select this and switch it from exterior floor uh, to the generic floor 400 millimeter uh, type. Uh, next, uh, it's really important to make sure that this is going to appear as white. So if I go here into edit type and then go to structure, go into edit, uh, then go to the material and go to the layers uh, here, it's just going to open up the, the materials. And if I go to default, uh, yeah, so here, this was pro this is probably a default roof if we have something like that. Default roof, yeah. Uh, so here you can see that appearance, I have set that to be uh, this uh, white color. Uh, and you want to set that to be completely white because that's going to allow you to show uh, this is completely white in realistic mode. So when I switch this to realistic, wait for a few seconds, this should appear as white. See, that's how it appears. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to hidden line for now. Okay, now we have to load those uh, plan images in. Uh, so to load those in, what you want to do is go here to insert. Uh, then you want to go to decal, click here. Uh, then you want to create a new decal. Uh, now I'm just going to call this one the, I don't know, the sheet one. Okay. Uh, next, go to the source and here you find uh, those files. So here we have this complete uh, house in Revit sheet uh, A 101. Okay, wait for a few seconds. There we go, it's loaded in and that's pretty much it. So you're pretty much done, so you click OK and then you can place it. So I'm just going to click here and you're going to notice that it appears really small. Now that's okay, you just wanna drag it out and make sure that lock proportions are turned on here. Now I think if I remember correctly, if I set this to 3500, it's going to appear the size that I want. There we go. Okay, so let's place that one and then next to that, I'm going to go to decal again, uh, but go into edit type now, go into duplicate uh, let's create a sheet two. Uh, go to decal attributes and then here you can change that image. So for the second one we obviously want a different image uh, and again I'm just going to click this little button, choose the second one, hit open, uh, there we go, see it's the second one, click OK, OK again, and now we should, uh, there we go, we can place it. You can select that now and again ex extend that and again just set the width to 3500, uh, but make sure that lock proportions is turned on. We click and it's done, perfect. So I want this one to go there and then I want this one to be here and also I wanna rotate this one, so let's see. There we go. And now let's try something like that. Uh, now obviously you wanna kind of try out uh, just to uh, see what's going on here. And for that, you need to turn on the realistic view mode or visual style, and then it's going to look like this. Okay, this seems okay, but I would rather perhaps rotate this one. So let me try. I'm just going to go back to hidden line because you're going to notice that it's way easier to work with hidden line. So let's rotate that like, hmm, let's try like this. And now let's see what that would look like. 
Wait for a few moments. There we go. Looks much better. We can move it a little bit. Obviously, this is going to be a little slow, but that's expected. And then for this one, we can perhaps, yeah, let's rotate that one as well. So I'm just going to go back to hidden line. So it's a little bit quicker for me to move these around. Let's try something like this. I think this could look good. Okay. Go back to realistic. There we go, this seems to be okay. Yeah, this could work. I think this could look really good. Perhaps uh, if I just go back here to hit a line, I would rotate this a little bit. So it is a little bit of back and forth, but this is kind of more, more art than science. You just wanna make it look nice. There isn't really a, a correct way to do this. So let's try that realistic again. There we go, I think this looks really good. Okay, so once we're done with our arrangement, uh, we can go back to hidden line. Uh, and then you wanna create a perspective view because perspective views are obviously going to look a lot better than uh, regular orthogonal or orthographic views. So for that, uh, let's go back to the site plan. Uh, make sure to come in here and go to crop view and just uncheck that. And then I'm going to go here to the default 3D view, uh, expand that and use the camera, place it somewhere around here, not like that. Go like this towards the model, bring it up. Now also you wanna go here to the little uh, full navigation wheel, look down, hmm, like that, yeah. And then let's see. Now, obviously with these types of views, you wanna capture as much kind of surroundings as you can. Perhaps not that much, but yeah, perhaps this could work. Uh, and obviously you wanna double check that by going here to realistic and let's see what that would look like. Yeah, I think this looks really good. Okay, so we're almost done. Uh, finally, we just have to render this. So for rendering, uh, go to view, uh, then you have render. Uh, here's that little window, it kind of appeared on my second screen. Uh, so I'm going to set this to medium and then I'm going to set it to printer and let's go with 300 DPI. Obviously you might want to go a little bit higher for kind of presentation views. For something like this, let's keep it as is. And then, yeah, I think, we have pretty much everything done. So it's just a matter of waiting for it to render. And this is what we get in the end. Uh, so this is the end result. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, you can see it does look like sheets of paper and then we have some sort of a physical architecture model on top of that. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And it does look like paper and it does look like a a 3D model. So there we go. I'm I'm quite excited. Uh, I think this turned out very very well. Uh, tell me in the comment section below. Do you like it? Is this something that you plan on using, perhaps for some of your projects? And um, if you have perhaps any other suggestions how to improve this, perhaps modeling some 3D pencils and placing it here or something like that might be cool. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please check out my website for Revit courses. Uh, as I said, that's the first link in the description. There you can find numerous courses. This house is kind of one of them and there is obviously much, much more. Uh, also, uh, make sure to check out my Patreon page. There you can find all of my Revit project files. So if you're interested in that, check it out there. That's the second link in the description. Uh, make sure to like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and I'll be back in a couple of days with another Balkan Arctic tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.